Psyche Truth. Life. Wisdom. Hello, my name is Mira Hoffman, and today I'm going to be showing you some Thai massage techniques. I absolutely love Thai massage because you can do it anywhere. So favorite this video so you can follow along with a friend. So I'm going to begin just by making contact with Karina and just holding on her ankles. We're going to slowly start to rotate her legs out and begin doing alternating palm presses into the soles of her feet. And you can see that my pressure is coming from my full body. I'm not just using my hands to lean in. I'm rotating my full body, working from the heel, on the inner arch, all the way up to the balls of the feet. And just making a few passes here, really warming up the feet. You can start to bring the pressure down more to the center of the foot. And giving a nice full contact here. Once you've done about three passes on the feet, we're gonna start walking up the legs. And just a note to use the full surface of your hand. So not too much weight into the fingers or the palms. We'll do some little circles over the knees. We don't want to apply a lot of pressure there since it's a joint. And I'm going to step my leg forward to give myself a little bit more stability as we walk up the thighs. So I'm coming into a nice comfortable lunge. Walking up to the hip bones. Circling up the knees again. Coming down the inside of the leg. And out the feet. And we're going to switch from using the palms of our hands to our thumbs. And again, just sticking with that alternating pressure. My arms are straight and I'm using the weight of my body to lean into her feet. Working all the way up the toes. And then back down. So in Thai massage, they work on an energy system called the Sin Lines. And there's in a lot of Asian healing lineages, such as yoga and Chinese massage, Japanese mas massage, as well as acupuncture. They have energy systems. So in yoga, you have the nadis, and in Chinese medicine, you have the meridian lines. And these energy lines, when they're blocked or stagnant, or sometimes they're hyperactive and have too much energy, they're said to create physical dis-ease within the body. So I'm just tracing up each line following kind of the toes from the base of the heel, out each toe and back down. So as we work on the physical structures of the body, we're helping balance those energy lines, those sin lines and Thai massage. And we're helping create peace and relaxation and dispelling dis-ease within the body. One of the beautiful things about Thai massage is that it can be done really anywhere. So some of its history and cultural application is after the parents and families would work in the rice fields in Thailand, the children would come and give Thai massage to their parents. So it's a very low impact, easy to use, 
form of body work. You don't need a table or any lotion or anything. And people of all sizes, big or small, can be the therapist, the giver, and really help benefit the receiver. So I'm working out the pinky line now, the pinky toe. And then back down. And once you've finished that line, we're going to palm out the feet again. And then walk up the legs. So kind of just carrying that energy, that work, that flow. Connecting it. Circling around the knees. And then coming back down to the feet. I'm going to scoop with my outer hand um, at the ankle and then just lift underneath her knee so that I can put my leg underneath hers. And we can kind of scoot up if we need to, if you need a little bit more space. Basically, you just want to create this nice relaxed position for their legs, so kind of support it at the knee. We're going to start to do some rotations for the ankle. So just rotating the ankle clockwise. Using our hand to support at the base of the ankle and the other at the toes. Going slowly, but getting a nice full rotation there. And then reversing the direction. And you can see that this little movement is creating and rippling and connecting all the way up into her hips. I'm getting some nice opening and the ankle and I like to do some twists so kind of changing my hand I'm wrapping my inside hand over the arch of the toes and then I'm just rocking backwards and inwards doing that three times we can switch hands and now we're gonna rock outwards I'm going to untuck her leg by supporting at the knee and then we'll just switch the legs. So scooping at the ankle and doing that rotation again. doing about five circles in each direction and then we can rotate outwards leaning our weight backwards and switching the hand my outside hand coming to the ankle inside hand coming across the toes and rotating inwards and down Untuck the leg here. And coming back down towards the feet. I'm going to pull both legs towards us, giving a nice full stretch to the backs of the legs. 
and using our hands we're going to press the toes up towards the head so again everything that i'm doing i'm trying to make it a full body movement and stretch the toes just kind of feeling for that resistance point and we'll bring the toes down crossing the feet over each other and then just pressing into the floor so you can see I kind of press into the stretch pause release and we like to do three repetitions taking that third and last one kind of the most deep so releasing the legs and resetting them this time crossing the feet with the opposite foot on top and pressing just downwards into the floor into the mat so we're using a simple futon mattress for our work today you can also use a actual tie mat I've even done this just on the ground with like a little tapestry or blanket or yoga mat. So you really don't need any special equipment. You can do this wherever. So I just like to just transition between moves by giving the feet a little bit of rock to release the hips. Release the legs. And transitioning back into palming the feet. Walking up the legs. Palm circles around the knees. And walking up the hips and thighs. Coming out the bottoms of the feet again. And then we'll move on to one side to start working on the legs a little bit thoroughly. So I'm going to start by coming to one side and then I'm going to press and rotate the leg out. So we're just giving a nice full stretch rocking the leg outwards just being gentle people's hips can be tight or the legs can be tight and once we've stretched that we're going to start at the bottom of the leg and begin palm pressing up the inside of the leg so working the send lines on the inside of the leg just kind of doing a little following and then I try not to go too far up the inside of the leg just tends to be a sensitive area so it's best to avoid it so it may make some people feel uncomfortable if you get too far up too so sticking with our round of three passes using our palms to press into the inside of the leg And one of the cool things about this style of massage too is you have a lot of options as far as the rate at which you apply your movements. So the quicker you go, the more stimulating it is, energizing. And the slower you go, the more relaxing it is, the more grounding and soothing it can be. So we've done those three passes with our hands and palms. Now we're gonna switch to using the thumb. So still doing the same thing, applying pressure 
into the inside of the calf, walking just underneath the bone, skipping the knee area, just doing a little following with the thumbs. So really trying to stay on the muscles here. We don't want to be pressing into the bones. That doesn't feel good. And receivers, I always encourage you to communicate with your partner if anything does not feel good. So we'll come down onto the second line by moving a little bit more towards the mat. So that first pass, we were just tucking inside the bone. This next pass, we're a little bit more into the meat of the muscles. And coming back down. You can see my thumbs. I'm taking about two to three inches per step. So they don't need to be like right next to each other. And then for the third round, again, just coming closer to the mat as we work. Skipping the knee, coming about halfway up to the thigh, and rotating down. And we'll close by palming the leg again. So just repeating gentle palms. Trying to keep your palms soft and receptive, so I don't want them to be hard like boards. I want them to really kind of curve to the musculature and the body structures so the weight is evenly distributed. No place is getting more pressure than the other. And we'll switch to come to the other leg. And we'll do the same thing. So one hand on the top of the thigh, one hand at the foot, really stretching outwards, rotating the leg. And then coming into the back and forth palm presses. Doing those for three rounds. Coming out the foot. Skipping the knee. And then coming into the thumb presses. So again, right alongside the bone, but not on it. Using that as sort of your guiding principle for placement. Making sure just to check in with your receiver about the pressure, if there's anything that needs to adjust. Maybe they want more pressure, maybe they want less. <laughs> and 
So making that second pass, moving a little bit more towards the mat, a little bit more medially. And then that third pass. And closing with palm presses. So that was part one in our Thai massage series. Stay tuned for parts th two through five, where you'll get to learn some other wonderful techniques for the legs and the rest of the body. Again, my name is Mira Hoffman. You can find out more about me and my practice at mirahoffman.com. And make sure you subscribe to the Psyche Truth YouTube channel. We have thousands of videos that are available to help support you in health and wellness. Thank you again for tuning in.